right side is the tails. All right, south either. You're the visitors. Call two. Hills is a call. Hills is a call. All right, military cap. Uh, point flip today. It is tails. Lions have won the toss. Lions have won the toss. We're going to defer. First and ten from the 26. Nunez keeps the ball. Has a man wide open. That's Dickey. He's got it. He could. Run for days, 35-30, 25-20, stiff arm, and out of bounds at the 16 of Northwestern State. Left side, Nunez wants to roll left to throw, looking, looking, and he's going to take off and run with the football, and he's going to be down close to the goal line. Where will they spot it? Inside the one, Nunez. Hands it straight ahead, Johnson in the end zone, touchdown. Lions take it 93 yards. And take a 6-0 lead, extra point on the way. Showing pressure, Lions come after him. Wants to go deep. He's got a man down there, and he's got it in stride. And uh, breaks the tackle, still on his feet across the field. Looking for a man to beat, to get a block, he does. And he's going to take this one into the end zone. Extra point is uh, up and no good. Missed it. So, uh, so that's probably helping them bring a lot of touchbacks. Here's uh, Nunez, wants to go deep down the near sideline. It is caught in stride. This is Tolbert, 35-30, 25-15, 10-5. Touchdown in one play. Offset eye formation, no motion, fullback right side. Calls for He's going to play fake, has a man in his face. That's Max Lyons, and he's going to go down back at midfield. So the Lions come with edge pressure from the secondary and going to be the first sack of this ball game. There's Connor in motion. He's going to get it on the end around. He's got, got some running room and looks for a block. He gets the sideline, still on his feet, and finally knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line of Northwestern State. One-yard line. Nunez hands it straight ahead. Diving over the goal line is a touchdown. That is Juice Marcella. And Southeastern has stretched the lead to 20. Three wide set. Almost going to drop the throw. It's a three-man rush. Pressure coming from behind. They've got him under pressure, and he's going to go down at the line of scrimmage. Two backs, two wides left, one wide right. This is Nunez. He'll flip the ball near side. And still on his feet and across the 40, 45 into demon territory. Marcus Cooper breaks a tackle. 30, looks for a block. He gets it. 20, 15, pushed out of bounds. Strong so far this year. Here's Nunez to throw on second down. Has a man. It is Dickey. He's got it. Across midfield. Wow, what a throw from Lorenzo Nunez. Southeastern will run it straight ahead. This is Marcelin. Marcelin and he breaks a tackle, and he is into the end zone, and this one will count from 12 Touchdown. yards out, and Southeastern South again stretches the lead to 41-6. to 42-13, Lions lead it. Northwestern driving. Southeastern comes with pressure. They got him. See who that is in the backfield. That looks like uh, that Sione. Alvin wants to go deep. Got a man down there. It is incomplete or intercepted. I think it's picked off. Yeah, Southeast has got it. Max Lyons with the interception. Down to five. Here's a handoff to Cooper. Sweeping left. Cuts it inside. He's got a hole. And he can take it. 50, 40. Trying to outrun him. 30, 20. 15, 10, dragged down inside the 10-yard line at the 6. Marcus Cooper. Wildcat here with Juice, and he's going to fake it, keep it right side, and he's going to be hit at the goal line, <laughs> and he's in. Play. Juice Marcellin with touchdown number touchdown, three. As he uh, faked everybody out, heat up and ready to roll here with 7-13 to play third quarter. Lions on top, 49-13. to This will be high and short, returnable from the 5-yard line. And boy, Ooh. down there is with Jawan Petit Ferrer like a heat-seeking missile, and he is absolutely takes it, hands it away, and he is hit, lost in the backfield. Uh, that is Jake Giannone, who knifed underneath. <laughs> Sears hands it straight ahead, and he's not going to get it. Anderson hit for a loss. Hi, right, Coach. Uh, y'all played very well in the first half, and it seems like y'all put the game away pretty much uh, very early. How, how did you think they played that well? Well, I was pleased, obviously, it was coming out of the gates and playing as well as we did. We got a lot of things clicking. We, as we talked about, coming out clicking all cylinders early, uh, from special teams to, to defense, offense, everybody's going, and 
That's what it is. We're trying to find out where we're at as football. How good can we be? You know, and uh, so I, I, obviously I'm very proud of our kids tonight. I saw DB jump, uh, jumped on the all rushing game really uh, hard in this game. He kept them, uh, kept them down. They're about 67 yards for t total for the whole game. Was it? Okay. I don't know. I didn't see that. Yeah. Again, I thought we've been playing run, run better the last couple weeks. Uh, but that was good to see. It was good because I thought they had really two good running backs, and I felt I had a lot of respect for the offense line coming in the ball game. But uh, like I said, uh, we got a young D line, and they're every every week they're getting they're getting better. Every week they're getting a whole better. We saw it two weeks ago. I knew it, it, it was coming, and uh, so I'm proud of our kids all across the board. You, uh, you already know how explosive the offense can be under uh, yeah. with Nunez uh, running the running the show. Yeah. Uh, so you sort of expect them to come out and uh, produce as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we got a lot of confidence, especially when he's behind center right now. Now, we want to get to where we have confidence, but then who's behind our center? And, that's, and those are things we're still trying to get on that really make us a different ball club. But uh, obviously, running backs were explosive, popped a bunch of big ones. Passing game, some receivers stepped up big. We've been catching the ball a lot better than we have in the last week or so. And we kind of got thrown off in timing there a couple weeks when, when you know, the quarterback's down. And, you know, so we're a little, we've been a little behind on that. So hopefully we're hitting our stride and, you know, we're looking forward to it. We want to be consistent with this. You only played uh, three games, but so mm -hmm. far you've gotten at least uh, about, four, about helping them get at least about 400, 500 yards mm -hmm. uh, every game. The offense has been very explosive. Mm -hmm. uh, would you understand? So, uh, so how, how you been doing that? How you feel, what you been focusing on? I feel very well, uh, health-wise. Um, I we just come out here and execute what we have been doing, have been doing, have been doing in practice, and what Coach Barrett and um, the offensive, co offensive uh, coaches have been telling us what to do. And the line, the running backs have been doing a very, very well job protecting me. So the stat was you had eight quarters you played and you've 125 points so far. Uh, you know, does it give you some confidence? You know, for the rest of the season, like, hey, you know, we can do this. Yeah, I think it does. Um, I think it makes our team uh, realize that we can score points in the scoreboard and put points up. And uh, I mean, we've the last two games we've put up like 42 points uh, before half. So that's a as an offensive side, that's a really good thing to do. You're a very mobile, uh, mobile quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing you in the in the pocket, sometimes yeah. you uh, decide to throw and stay in there. Other mm -hmm. times you sort of gotten loose and sort of uh, run out of the pocket and get uh, get a few yards every now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, how how you sort of know when to make that decision? Is it uh, depends on the pass rush or how um, you feel? Re uh, recently, I've been trying to throw the ball more and I not run since I kind of had that game down really, but. Uh, yeah, like um, the first game, they kind of pressured me a lot, so I kind of run the ball more. This game, they let me pass the ball. They, they didn't really blitz me, except probably like one time. But um, other than that, I really just I really just see if it's if they blitz me or not, or if I if I don't have uh, good if the, if the line doesn't block well. But they've been doing a really job, really good job the past two games. You had a, what, it was a career game tonight. Uh, led the team in rushing. Uh, you know, was O line blocking for you, or just you know the what was the defense giving you and you know all that kind of stuff? Man, to, to be honest, it was just great play calling by the coaches and great work by the uh, offensive line. We just, that's what we've been preparing for all week, just to dominate them. And that's what we came out here and did. It, it wasn't nothing that I did special. It was just all the team thing. Seems like we got like a, a three-headed monster running back here. You know, is it, is it fun to be a part of that? <laughs> Very fun because it's like all of our running backs, they can go. So it's... It's, and, and then in practice, it makes us compete even harder, you know what I'm saying, against each other. So that's what I love, and I love competition. And if, if we just keep it going, nobody can stop us but ourselves.